today I want to talk about how to get off of sodas and all those Cokes and your Dr. Peppers and all those things. It's a really hard addiction no one wants to talk about, but it's not very good for your health. We know sugar's horrible and they're laden with sugar. Sugar is, I mean, we know the diseases it turns on in the body from diabetes to cancer to autoimmune disorders, inflammation that's so bad, joint pain, it's really bad. So we know that that's something we definitely want to do without. Um, but also the carbonation. Carbonation causes a lot of problems for people they don't really realize. Uh, it's linked to depression and anxiety disorders. And a lot of people don't really realize the carbonation itself does it. So I'm going to talk about different options according to your body and what it is that you need to ease your way off of those and onto something else. Because I always like to teach that it's not about deprivation, it's about finding your yes food that's the substitute, right? So we're gonna look at substitutes here. So I'll show you some of my favorites. Um, one way to start is to try kombucha. So kombucha is a great way that you can at least start to ease your way over. So there are bottled uh, kombuchas from different companies that you can get. They do usually add sugar after the process. Um, you can make your own kombucha or like here at the co-op, we make our own. And we only add fruit, we don't add sugar after the process. So kombucha is a fermented tea process with a lot of probiotics in it, which is really good. There is some sugar used in the process, but the fermentation eats that sugar up and then when it's done fermenting, you add the flavor. So for example, for this one, we added blueberry and ginger, and we did that after, no sugar at all. So it is a better option, and it can have a little bit of that fizz without having carbonation. It's just the actual probiotic um, chemistry, if you will. So this is a good option. Another option is June or June kombucha. That's like kombucha light. I will say kombucha is sort of like a heavy beer compared to June is like champagne. So it's much lighter. This is about a, a 10 day to two week process of fermentation. And this is only a three day process for June, for most Junes, um, just so you have the idea. But again, it's just a matter of where you are to transition off. There's still a little bit of sugar here. And so that's where you might start. Um, another option when you're easing off of the this sugar is I like to take sparkling water and then add fruit to it. And I will infuse my flavors for the day. So I will add blueberries, but I crush them up. I will add whatever fruit, cherries. Summer is a great time for that. Plums, they give good sugar and without it being actual cane sugar, which is hard on the body. So I will put it in there and that way you have the, the fizziness. Now, this is not ideal because it does have a little bit of that carbonation. So if that's what you're struggling with, um, I would try to limit how much or how often you do that. My favorite, which is the ultimate way, is to simply take water and infuse it with whatever it is you want. So this is my blueberry ginger, and I do it the night before. I crush up my blueberries, I've sliced my ginger, I fill up my water, I put it in the refrigerator. The next day, it's ready to drink and it tastes so good. There's no sugar in here, there's no carbonation in here, and I don't feel deprived. That's what you're after. Something that is not gonna give you deprivation, but you feel like this is your yes food, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, this I can do all day long. And again, I feel like I'm doing something with flavor. It satiates the sugar without sugar. And now I've weaned myself off of the the uh, carbonation, which causes all that depression. So these are things that you can try and steps that you can take if you need to transition from those really hard sodas and dangerous sodas that are depleting to your body to something way more supportive. Sometimes I will put cucumber basil. Sometimes I will put, um, like I said, I'll, I'll do slices of apple. I'll put uh, turmeric in here. There's lots of things you can do, but most people will start off with a little bit of higher sugar fruits, and that's okay. That's a great place for you to start until you've got what works for you. It's all about creating new habits. So remember, it's a transition. It's not an overnight thing for most people, and that's okay. That's why I gave you some steps of what you can try. If you like
find videos like this, we really appreciate you subscribing to our channel and sharing this with others. We love it when you share health with other people. You can always check out the other things that we have here on our YouTube video, or of course, you can go to our website at shopnaturalliving.com. Thanks guys.